Be without fear in the face of your enemies. Safeguard the helpless, even if it leads to your death. That is your oath. Rise a knight! Rise a knight! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today, I'm going to go over just uh, some basics and some tips uh, for, for new beginners. Um, or, you know, even some, uh, some experienced players doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go over some, some tips on what you should and what you should not do, uh, in dominion. Some things, some things are obvious. Some things, uh, may not be so obvious as I've seen through, uh, the last year and almost a half that this game has been out. Some people just clearly don't catch on to certain things. So uh, I'm going to show you this one match where we, uh, uh, my team and I, we, we really fall behind and we come back. Uh, we come back in a pretty, pretty cool fashion. Um, but here, here it is. All right, guys. So here we are at the shard here at point A. Um, about to face this ward in here. Uh, it's going to be a nice little 2v1s. That's pretty standard, pretty normal in Dominion matches. 2v1s happen all the time. Uh, he's going to pop his revenge. The Raider's going to come in here and get him off of us a little bit. Uh, what I should have done here is I should have moved to the side and started attacking the enemy instead of uh, interrupting the Raider. Um, what you're also going to see here is the Highlander here. The guy is dead. The Highlander should have stayed at our backs to keep the enemy from encroaching on us. So what you shouldn't do is if the opponent, if you see the opponent's about to die, don't don't rush in over there and try to get a kill. You know, stay at the back and make sure the enemy doesn't encroach on the teammates, as you're seeing here. Uh, because then it just turns into one big babble, and no one has a space to do the attacks that they need to do. Um, so what I do here is I get out. I get out of this, uh, this corridor, and I want to spread the fight out a little bit so everyone has the necessary space. Uh, that they need. Um, once you're able to spread the fight out a little bit, once everyone has their space, then that's when you can manage the fight uh, a little bit better than you would have if everyone's just babbled up in this one in this one spot. Um, thankfully, yes, the uh, my my team had taken care of the taking care of the opponents, uh, but that won't always happen. So you want to always be careful for that. You want to give yourself space, give your teammates space. So everyone is uh, everyone straight on what they need to do. All right. So for this next part here, I'm going to be capturing a zone, and I'm going to be running into a one v one fight that's happening outside of a contested zone. Uh, when you run into these kind of situations, you want to go to your friend and you want to help him clear that fight out as fast as you can, uh, so that you and your teammate can both go and uh, do the majority of your fighting within a contested zone. So what you should not do is spend the majority of your time during a match uh, fighting outside of contested zones. Uh, when you fight inside contested zones, your, you, your renowned rank uh, gets boosted. You're helping, you're helping the fight towards the final score because the objectives is what matters in Dominion. If you do the majority of your fighting outside these points, um, you're going to end up losing on on that front. So for this next part, you're going to see that I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be a 2v1 against me, uh, going to be 3v1. Uh, so when you find yourself in situations like this, what you want to do, what you should do, is spread your attacks out. I'm going to show you here what I'm about to do, what I, what I mean by that, is pop the revenge, light attack one, light attack another, shoulder bash one, light attack another, and spread your attacks out. That way, it's much harder for your opponents to read you. What you should not do is attack one guy out of the three that are ganking you, three or four or whatever. Um, because if you attack one guy, more than likely he'll be able to read you. He'll be able to parry you, uh, leaving you open for atta from attacks from his teammates. Uh, so you want to avoid that as much as possible. And the best way to do that is by spreading your attacks out. So for this next example is, of course, you should revive your teammates. What you should not do is be this Highlander here trying to interrupt a revive so he can fulfill his orders. Just don't do it. It's obnoxious. 
doesn't help the fight whatsoever. And it's just, it just it's, a, it's a way to get your teammates pissed at you. Uh, so, my gosh, if you're one of those people, if you're one of those people. <laughs> so for this next part, it's uh, a lesson on how you should, re you should uh, manage your revenge. Doing what I had just did right there uh, is what you should not do when it comes to popping revenge. You want to pop revenge when you're getting attacked by your opponent. You don't want to pop your revenge out of nowhere. You want to save it for an opportune moment when you're about to get attacked. Uh, so you can open up you can open up a little clearing for you to, to do a little counter, uh, do a start for a combo, or get in a heavy, so on and so forth. This next part is something that I think a lot of people fail to do when they're dead. Uh, when you are dead and you and you can be revived. You want to scroll through your camera to see if there's any teammates that are around you that can pick you up. Revives are huge in Dominions. Revives can, uh, can really tip the balance of the fight in your team's favor. Uh, a lot of players, what they do is when they die, they kind of, you know, they, they, kind of, they might be kind of pissed. They kind of, they look away from their cameras. They don't really care what else is going on. They're just trying to get back in the fight. Um, understandable, but... Uh, look for your teammates. Look to see if there's any of them close to you, uh, to see if any of them can come and pick you up. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've come up to a to a fallen a fallen teammate, and I'm about to revive him, and he spawns. Um, so many times have people lost games because of this, uh, because their teammates were not paying attention to their to their friends and seeing uh, if anyone was around to pick them up. That is probably one of the mo the biggest things that aggravates me, um, because it really does it really does and it can decide the outcome of the whole game. So as you can see here, me and the teammates were making our little comeback, and uh, what I want to talk about is the catapult feat. Uh, there are a lot of feats, but the catapult feat is a favorite. What you want to do is this: use it against two or more uh, opponents. You do not want to use a catapult feat on one guy that you could have 1v1 or if you couldn't 1v1 him at least 1v1 him until your teammates can come help you out uh, another situation in an absolute dire need is using the catapult feat on uh, on the minions to clear out uh, zone b or in this case it would be zone c uh, so that you guys can rally or so on and so forth uh, that doesn't happen too often but if you absolutely have to, that, uh, of course, go ahead and do it. Rally your team so you guys can get a second shot. For this next part, uh, this is a, a lesson on placement. Uh, you're going to see what my opponent's going to do here. Uh, we're 1v1, and he's facing me head on. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but he wants, what he does is he sees the Kensei coming up, and he wants to place himself in a better position so he can face the both of us. Uh, it didn't work out for him, but he had the right idea in mind. That's what you should do. If you see you're about to face multiple opponents, uh, place yourself in a good position before the fight happens. All right, so here we are at the end of the match. Uh, two of our opponents rage quitted. <laughs> I'd be pissed too. Don't worry about it. Um, but really, it, it, all in all, um, Dominion relies on finding a groove with your teammates, uh, even if they are randoms. Of course, if you're playing with your friends, then it's much easier. But playing with randoms, you need to find a groove um, that rolls that rolls and sits well with you guys. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I uh, hope it gave you some kind of uh, ideas on how to play Dominion a bit better than you have been already for your beginners. Don't worry. Uh, we all sucked at one time. We all were really bad. We all got killed all the time. Uh, it just takes time. It takes time, and it just takes some getting used to. And uh, one day you'll just be able to You'll be able to smack your opponents in the face. Ain't nothing but a thing. <laughs> if you guys like the videos that I'm posting, if you guys like uh, what I've done, uh, if you like this video and you look forward to more videos that I'm going to do, uh, go ahead and give me a subscribe, like, comment. I'd love to talk to you guys, see what your thoughts are on certain aspects of the game. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys later.